I, man, look, I normally would not do this because for one, it's a car video and I, I heard somebody, I, I can't remember who it was, but it was like, I think it was O'Shea. It's like, if you're doing car videos, you really ain't on shit, but I, I'm, I'm on my way to work and I'm just thinking about um, this Ebony K. Williams video um, the her current video when she was she revisited the conversation about would you date a bus driver and she said something that stuck out to me more than anything I've ever heard in this conversation where she was talking about she said she was saying that she's afraid she said Miss Von Zant she was recanting she was she was uh, talking about what she was saying when she talked to Ayala Von Zant and she said I am afraid that if I don't go out and get the job and the, the properties, the millions of dollars, if I don't put this in place, I'm afraid that I won't have it. And it's so funny to me how paranoid black people are when it comes to things. We are the most paranoid people on the planet. And I'm guilty of this. I'm black. Somebody starts running, we start running with them. If we get a, a bad whiff of some food, we won't eat it. We have a bad experience of the place we won't go there like forever it takes one time it only takes one time with us we're very paranoid and justifiably because you know we live we got a little bit of you know drama as far as our history you know we have reason to be paranoid but i wish for once that as a people we would be as paranoid about these other things in life as we are about our relationships. Y'all could be scared of, scared to death of having a bad relationship, um, these things going sour, but you won't be paranoid about the thought of you potentially reaching age 36 without a man, without a child, without a family y'all won't be paranoid about that it's crazy we think that type of stuff is just gonna work itself out we just gonna believe in god we're gonna pray on it we're so open when it comes to relationships but we want to be paranoid about everything else no i think you should be paranoid about the thought of you not having the life that you always wished you would starting as a little girl having a family i don't think anybody dreams of as a child their life you know in their old age being alone being someone just alone with no family nobody ever wanted that if you was to ask me that as a child uh if you were to ask me you know what kind of life do you want when you grow up as a child it's gonna have, it's gonna probably have a family in it it's gonna be happy no no child ever thinks that they're going to grow up to be alone. Nobody ever thinks that. It's so crazy to me that women can be afraid of not having something that like the the, the properties, the, the money, the career. I'm not saying you should not want those things, but all of those things are not required for you to live a happy quality life with a family you do not have to have a master's degree to be happy with a family you do not have to have rental properties millions of dollars those things are not exclusive to to one another they don't you don't have to have them you don't you can be just as happy with a normal job and a family that loves you and a man that protects you as you would, um, you know, with that plus the career and everything else. I would argue you're not going to be as happy with the career and all of that and not having a family. I would argue that a person with a normal life and a quality family that loves them is going to be happier than a person with all the bag and no no family to show for it. It's crazy to me how paranoid we can be about everything else. But we will not be paranoid about the thought of like what Canvas Samus said, dying alone. 
Y'all think that shit is sweet. Y'all think that's not happening to people or it won't happen to people. Okay. I, I don't know what else to tell you. And I'm very empathetic. I'm not going to just act like I don't understand, you know, our plight. Like we have reasons to be hesitant. We have reasons to be scared and all this stuff like that. I get it. But what we prioritize, it shows. It shows that we care more about money. We care more about things, material things that you cannot take with you, that have no real value. We care more about those things than we do family. That's why we put it first. That's why... For whatever reason, I don't know why these parents did it too. Even the married ones teaching their kids to be independent and go get the career first and do this and all that. I'm not saying don't do that, but it it, it, so, it seems so strange to me that women in other communities, they figure out how to do that at the same time. How is it they, that they have both? Those, we act like it's not possible to have a family, to have a husband, and to still have a career you're proud of, to have money, security, I would make the argument that it becomes easier having someone because you have someone that can share the brunt of the load with you. I'm not gonna act like family doesn't create obstacles because you have to raise a child and all the things like that, but it seems to me that women in other communities have figured this out. While we keep talking about life like we know what we're doing you have no relationship experience or history to point to to show that you didn't we most of us did not come from married families we did not come from people who have real investments have money and have the wealth that we passed that we don't come from that we're trying to figure that out as we go and we talk like we're so sure that this life that we're living is is uh, being done the right way but evidence will show you that other people haven't figured out. I just want, and I'm telling you, I love black women. See, there's black women because I tell the truth. Like I speak honestly that they have, they take issue with it, but I love black women. I often feel like, I say this all the time. I'd be feeling like I love black women more than they love themselves. I, I feel that way, honestly. But I just wish for once, I just want black women, just think about this. Try being as paranoid about food, relationships, um, like a <laughs> dark hallways, like a, a creepy look at house, like be as paranoid as black people are with everything else as you are when it comes to the thought of you being alone at 30 plus, 40 plus and going down the trajectory of probably remaining alone. I want you to be as paranoid about that as you are as everything else.